guys, Sandy here, and today I am scrapbooking for the Stretch Your Sketch uh, series here. We are using this awesome sketch right here, lots of mixed media in the background, um, some string, some hangy bits, so I'm super excited to play around with this. I'm going to stretch it into two 12 by 12 pages, and I'm going to be scrapbooking. I have some uh, products from Close to My Heart. And I'm going to be scrapbooking these uh, photos from the SAP Center uh, when we went to see a San Jose Sharks uh, hockey game. So let's see what I can do. All right, you guys, here I am using a Brutus Monroe stencil and some fabulous, fabulous glitter glaze. I am doing this voiceover from my hotel at Creativation. So if it sounds a little bit funky, that is why. Now I absolutely love Brutus Monroe Glitter Glaze. I am a super fan. It dries great, it feels great, it's got a great amount of sparkle. Now I am grabbing a Close to My Heart stamp set, love these little gears, and I'm just going to pop them around my page. And I'm not really worried about placement and I'm not really worried about how well I am stamping. Um, if I was that concerned, I would like double stamp it but honestly, I just want it on the page. So yeah, I love these papers. I think that they're great. Now this, I would not recommend that guys. Don't like put your heat gun on top of your hand to determine how hot it is. Like just don't do it. <laughs> so I am using the heat gun to just speed up the process a little bit. Um, it dries really quickly, but I just felt like I needed it to move along. It has been a little chilly in our house, um, and we are the family that will put on a sweatshirt or get under a blanket before we will go and turn up the heat, so there is that. So I have some various tapes. I don't want to really call them washi tapes because they aren't, but this little thin guy is. And I'm just going to create a couple areas where the tapes and the washi tapes are going to layer up uh, inside one another. So we have a couple different colors going on. We have the coppers. We have two different kinds of blues. I really like these light bulbs. I kind of felt like it went with the whole theme of kind of this grungy and gear type look. And I don't know why. I don't really have any hockey themed things. I'm not too much of a themey scrapper unless it is uh, Disney or something like that. So I felt like this was completely appropriate. Um, now this kind of sparkly bit, uh, I don't think it's too feminine or, um, you know, even, even hockey needs a little bit of glitter. So that was my ATG uh, bending upon itself. So we had to go ahead and fix that real quick. And then I'm going to have these photographs kind of cascading down just like uh, the stretch your sketch, uh, sketch inspiration. I don't know if you can say that 50 times fast. Here is some fun foam that my uh, good friend Crystal from Pineapple Papers gave to me. Um, so I am dropping those down just to give the photos a little bit of dimension because I'm not really doing any kind of photo matting on this. I'm going to use another and then I decided um, since my ATG was being a pain um, I would go ahead and grab a different glue runner and it doesn't really go on the foam well and then my Nuvo was a little bit stuck so I decided to use the Connect glue from Gina K and that was a little stuck so I had to squeeze it really really hard and then it kind of splattered everywhere. So I just used a scrap piece of paper to kind of spread it around and I'm trimming off the photos that are hanging off the edge of the page and I really like how this is kind of cascading around. Now I grab this sticker bit right here and then I decided you know what this needs a little bit more sparkle on this side. So I grab my Brutus Monroe stencil and glitter glaze and just pop it down there. Um, I'm not really too concerned about underneath of the photo, so I'm not taking like super special care under there because basically it's a waste of glitter glaze when it's just going underneath of your photo. So I do grab my heat gun one more time and I am careful to hold my photo up so that I'm not putting the heat gun directly on my photo because you know we don't need the photo melting or anything like that. 
Now, I believe this is, um, oh, what is this glitter glaze called? I believe it is leaves or something, um, leaf pile. Leaf pile is what that glitter glaze is called. So I grabbed these little Tim Holtz metal uh, clippy things and I've had these forever in a day. Um, most of the time I put them on top of uh, papers and such like I did on the first photo, but I thought that if I flipped them around it would give it just a little bit of interest. And I'm layering up some washi tape over here over top of the sticker. And this is an epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio and her flares are fabulous. So if you haven't uh, seen those or anything like that, go check those out because you need them in your life. She has a ton of different designs, a ton of different sets and multiple sizes. So it's super awesome. Now I decided to go ahead and trim that down and add it right there so that I've got the city kind of repeating on both sides. Now I've got some metal gears and things like that just to go along with the whole gears and grungy feel. I did get my deluxe adhesive to unstick and this stuff puts these little metal pieces down no problem whatsoever. And I am mixing metals. I have copper, I have silver, I have gold, and I'm completely okay with that. Mixing metals is fine. Um, no need to just have silver or just have copper or just have gold. Mix them up, right? So here are some wood veneer arrows that I am using and I'm just trying to figure out which ones look the best and I get these on my little areas of embellishment. I really like how that one nestles into the glitter glaze over there on the left hand corner and then I'm just going to use some more of that Nouveau and I'm going to place it down we're gonna get those all stuff down. So guys, make sure that you check out everybody's link uh, for the Stretch Your Sketch series. Um, it's a lot of fun and everybody has a different take on the sketch. Uh, sometimes people shrink them, sometimes people make them larger like I did. Sometimes people just change the size. Sometimes it's a traveler's notebook, sometimes it's a six by eight. So all kinds of fun things. And then I'm just adding some gold glitter dots because hello, gold glitter dots. Um, now I need to put on my title and I'm going to title it Sap Center because that is where the San Jose Sharks play and that is the hockey uh, rink that we visited. It was kind of awesome because the Sharks were playing the Caps and the Caps is kind of like, you know, they're kind of like the home team because we were uh, Marylanders for a very long time. So, you know, all of our lives even. So yeah, very long time. So there we go. I'm just using those black thickers to pop on top of there and then I felt like the pages just needed something else so I am taking a Muji pen which is my absolute favorite pen to write on and I'm just doing some messy lines as a border around the page and I'm not you know they're not straight they're a little wonky and they're all good so that is going to do it guys thanks so much for watching um, oh I actually journaled on this page never mind it's not going to do it I do talk about how they pay, played against the Caps and how fun it was. So after that journaling is finished, now I'm done guys. See you again real soon.